Hello everyone! We are the Lost Caravan RPG. We do one-shots, mini-series, and long-running campaigns. If it's TTRPG, we pretty much do it all. Tonight is episode 5, as I am looking at the overlay realizing, hold on! These cameras are, uh, the tech gremlins snuck in and... Oh snap! <laughs> there we go, all fixed. Y'all get to do double duty. <laughs> uh, it was episode five of our Avatar Legends campaign, Legacy of the Lost. Um, I don't know what's going to happen today, but there's going to be a lot of conversations to be had, some healing to be had, and um, we'll try not to burn down another factory. Only try. But... Before we do, we have just a few announcements to go through. The first being that we do have a sponsor for tonight's stream. That is Soul Muppet Publishing. They published uh, Orbital Blues, which we played recently on the channel, and which you're going to see more of very soon. Um, Stemcast, we're just going to pick up right where we left off and go some go with some space adventures. Also, if you missed any of our streams, you can find them on our YouTube channel. It's just Lost Caravan RPG at YouTube. We'd super appreciate it if you would stop by, check out some more stuff, and give us a follow. We heckin' love you for it. Uh, you can also check out our website, lostcaravanrpg.com, where you can learn about the stream team, as well as the community that helps you support us and even check out some of our merch, which is all very cool. And we're working on getting some more stuff out. But I think that's pretty much all I got. Ooh, that's not what I want. Pick up some good news. So I'm going to go around, give everyone a chance to tell you who they are, who they're playing tonight, and their emotional state following the literal meltdown in the last session. We'll go clockwise, which means that we are starting with Caitlin. Hey, everybody. I am Caitlin. I use she, her pronouns. And tonight I'll be playing Mayari Besho, a chronically ill water matter bender of the successor playbook who uses she, they pronouns. Uh, Mayari's emotional state is messed up uh, <laughs> um, for multiple reasons, um, but also guilty, which is actually a condition that she currently has um, for for basically yelling at day uh, after the very tense uh, buildup of factory uh, blow up times, uh, but also is feeling a little confused and a little um, red in the face uh, after an interesting interaction with uh, Zai. Uh, so I think she's kind of all over the map <laughs> on on emotions at the moment. I uh, uh yes yeah <laughs> we talked about it after the session but um caitlin and mayari won over both me and zai in that moment because <laughs> i didn't know that was gonna happen it still yeah. happened yes lovely we did it we made it we, we won um <laughs> that brings us over to matt Hello, I'm Matt, he, him pronouns. I'm playing Faye, also he, him pronouns, the bold playbook. Um, and right now he he feels like he's failed. Um, at the very least, uh, having been able to caught up to Ember, having been able to apologize and um, have like a heart to heart. He does feel better on that end, but um, <clears throat> He definitely feels very bad about uh, creating such a huge problem for Day um, and would would want to make amends in whatever way he can. Um, and overall, it's just, you know, he's <laughs> he made a plan and everything went to hell. <laughs> so <laughs> Faye is having a tough time. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, kind of session after session, it was a tough time of <laughs> finding out that you are the team's muscle and you took on a horde 
of thieves <laughs> by true. yourself? This is true. That's that's this is, real. This is, this is what happened. It was a canon event. It's true. It happened. <laughs> go, go back and watch it on YouTube. <laughs> we'll yes. ignore the part where you knocked yourself out in the process, but yeah, it was very Crazy class canon. <laughs> Uh, and then you got to meet Shen, who True. seems to be as reluctant as you can be for your friendship, and yet keeps coming back and keeps yeah. just being there, and it's weird. Right? Goodness. <laughs> um, Someone needs to put them in line. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that brings us over to Extel. Uh, hello, everyone. Um, Extel... Uh, he him pronouns. I'm playing Ember, the firebender. Also, he him pronouns. Uh, Ember's feeling uh, oh, prodigy playbook because I'm the best, but um, <laughs> <laughs> um, Ember's feeling um, he's feeling really insecure about what happened last time. He's feeling he usually has such great control over his fire uh, this is a skill that he's been honing since childhood and that he one that he pri takes pride in that he's able to do he's able to control his fire so well and to have it so easily to be manipulated it was it's it's something that brings in a question for him his true ability to control his flames and his true like sort of like he's feeling like he's not as good as he thought he was yeah. um he's also very troubled uh, because he caused such a ruckus for his friends and kind of the town of republic city yeah, who cares about them? His <laughs> friends are more. <laughs> uh, and I, I don't know if Ember has mentioned this to anyone, but um, the figure that had kind of stopped... Uh, I don't know that stopped him is the right word, but had been there and offered words of kindness and support, telling you to stick to your friends, don't push them away. They, they will be there for you, they will help you heal. And when you turn to look, there was no one there. But then, yep. they was there. They sat with you, and the two of you just kind of people watched for a while. Yeah. But, um, I guess I should introduce myself, in case you don't know who I am. I'm Andrew. I'm your storyteller for tonight's game and for most games around here, although you are going to see a bunch of friendly faces behind the GM site in the coming weeks, uh, especially next month because we have an entire week of Call of Cthulhu, and we're going to have a ton of guest GMs, which I'm very excited for. Um, but uh, if you want to come roll some dice with us, we do casting calls each and every month. We are in fact doing a Lancer mini-series starting next month, which I'm very much looking forward to. If you like giant robots and explosions, come hang out with us. Yes. But that's all I got. Uh, we already kind of talked about the recap. We went and visited a glass factory. We found out their secrets, more or less. Found out that they're working to remove benders from the equation, uh, making it a more automated process. And in doing so, kind of revamping the economy in Republic City towards this benderless not society, but but less bender reliant, I should say. And in our three-way split, um, one of our party had something very strange happen where their fire just couldn't be controlled. It was just absolutely pouring out in waves, and it just got worse and worse until it was an eruption of fire. Not to say that our other benders didn't feel something similar, but to a much lesser degree. You did also find that Zai and some of the other glass benders 
were there to fully sabotage this place, take it out of business, which you all kind of did for them. And in a moment of pure connection, I saw something in our Lyari that turned course. And we got the two of you out of there, carried you down into the sewers, and down into the high belt. I think uh, Day is currently off with their family, kind of mm-hmm. going over what happened, considering that it was their name that you all used to get into the meeting, and now that name may be tarnished because of this. And, of course, Kim has been off and on, has been on secret missions for Dawn, the head of your little uh, underground criminal organization. Which means that on this night, as we are still calming down, still letting that adrenaline fall off, it's just the three of you. Ember and Faye. I believe the two of you were headed towards the hideout, but is there anything you'd like to do? Ember's probably he's pretty quiet the whole time. <laughs> um unless unless Faye talks to him, he's he's gonna be like he's kinda like not sort of distant, but just mm. inside. I dig that. Uh, Faye will, I mean, after we had the heart to heart, it's just kind of like, and I feel like um, Faye just kind of needs to recharge a bit. Um, still kind of pondering about like how he might be able to make things up today. Um, so he'll just be silent too until we get back, back down into the sewers, back down to the drains. Are the two of you worried much about not being followed or being kind of careful about how you're getting back? Um, I think, I think Ember is too focused on whatever he's thinking about um, mm-hmm. to think too much about it. I think he might glance back, but not not really, like, more so out of, like, training rather than meaning to do so. <coughs> yeah. Faye is... I mean, still just lost in thought. So, you know, whoever you got sneaking up on us. <laughs> curious. He's slim pickings. <laughs> um, that is a 10 for his walk. Oh, mm-hmm. snap. Nice. Mm-hmm. Zwak's perception. From who? Um, Zwak is stealing things while we're going back. Yep. Oh, <laughs> excellent. Excellent. <laughs> This walk is like, I got stuff. Yeah. (laughs) Um, Yeah. By the time you hit the sewers and start that that familiar trek, looking for those very subtle signals showing you that you're going the right way in what would otherwise be a maze of tunnels, you find that Zwak is just waddling next to you. Uh, It is holding a just rolled up piece of parchment, just Happy as can be. Oh my gosh. Uh, okay. In that case, can I can I lean down and uh, like grab it to read it? It looks like a map. A map of this area. A map of the sewers. Um, it looks like an above ground map. It's very crudely drawn, so it's hard to tell exactly where it's trying to point you. Mm. Okay. 
Um, I'll give I'll give Zwok just a quick little head pat um, and say, "Hey, good good job, buddy." Looks at and, you. Uh, looks at the map in your hand. Back at you. Heavy sigh, and then keeps marching. Great. <laughs> yeah, and I I guess it'll be like a I I, I imagine it's because focused. Um, it, it's is like a back burner thing of like, okay, maybe I'll be able to connect the dots later, but right now my head is somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Well, as the two of you were getting back in that little hidden nook of sewers where you have respite, you have shelter, you have food, you have drink. Um, my army, you probably would have gotten there a good couple hours before the two of them. What would you like to do? Um, I think I'd try to find Kim, but I imagine I would not come across her because um, she's on a, a special mission yet again. Have you? Um, <laughs> damn you, Dawn, uh, for stealing my friend. <laughs> uh, so, so I think my Arian would kind of wander about this like space slowly and maybe try to find her uh, uh, little cat peacock friend again. See if see if that little yes. creature is around. I regret this creature so much. <laughs> Do you should yeah. not. It's the best. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, you did yeah. this. <laughs> a like minx sized feline creature with a absolute beautiful plumage of feathers that seems to just instinctively know when someone's not paying attention and will go over and just like bump their chair just for fun um yeah i think she watch that a bit in the common area uh, and laugh as people get disturbed um and see is there is the is the bartender around the one we had seen when we first came in the one that you first saw is not um but there does seem to be kind of a a rotating like crew of servers and vendors and bartenders i think i'd go up to the bartender and like motion for a drink Try to be really cool, like lean against the bar, do the whole thing. Um, <laughs> attempt to like make the gesture of like slide it to me and like positions herself at the end of the bar on purpose to, to oh. do that and wait, <laughs> waits for the drink. <laughs> A absolutely physically imposing figure, um, one that you have seen in here before that. Uh, kind of does a lot of the rearranging, helps, you know, bring in, like, heavy pallets. Very stark feminine features. Just, like, beautiful for being on a frame that's, like, bodybuilder. Looks down. Look a little beat up. Doing all right? Pulls out a drink and uh -huh. we'll slide it down to you. Yeah, I... I could use this, um, but I'm I'm cool. I'm chill. Not like as I lift mm -hmm. the drink, my hand is like shaking with tremor still. <laughs> yeah, like, chug it down. By the way, that you had to get carried into this place. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm. I'm. I'm not great. You know. Uh, sometimes you know when those days when just everything goes wrong. That, that's yeah, today. yeah. I've been there. Usually, ends then, up those in, days uh, some kind of holding cell, but that's just me. Okay, okay, but also those days where like everything goes wrong, but then also things like there's a bright spot, and it you don't know if it's like a fluke or like a. Or if it's if it's not really as bright as you think it is because everything else is so 
shitty dark. I don't know if I'm making sense right now. Am I all right? No, Can you get no, drunk you off with one me. glass? Of- okay. <laughs> it's fine. Um, so, hey, uh, do, do you do you know Don well? Good guy. Takes care of people. Why? Just, just curious about his deal. Just trying to get a read from other people. You know, well, it just seems like he gets a little obsessed with certain people, and then they kind of get locked into weird little things with him. And I just want to, like, know what that's about. He's certainly looking out for his future, but you're talking about your friend. He only takes on people as, uh, I guess you could call them protégés. He really does care about them. He really thinks that they got something. What happens to Don's protégés, usually? Are they, are they off thriving somewhere? Or, <laughs> or are they, like, dead in a ditch? Uh, I don't know of any that went off and died in a ditch, but as far as I know, they usually find their wings and one morning they're just gone. Off to find their own fortune somewhere else. Uh, what, sorry, what was your name? Hinoa. Hinoa. Thank you. Um... What keeps you here? Steady pay, people that I can trust. That can be hard to come by. Plus, we got a, a kick ass fighting ring, which, I mean, if you're ever interested in getting a little exercise in, going toe to toe with, and just like holds up her arms to flex. Some people like me, I'll hook you up. Okay, is it like like fist fighting, or can I like, is bending allowed? Typically it's more brawling, but we have seen some, some bending fights. Okay, I'm gonna lean, lean against the bar pretty far. Okay, okay, but here's this. What if I bend a fighter to fight for me? It's still fist fighting, but I'm using water. I don't even. How does that even work? I don't know. I'm still working on it. It's it's very loose. It's just theoret. Right now, it's it's all. It, I'm working on it. Um, but theoretically, is that allowed? I guess. I. Yeah, I suppose. Okay, okay. Is there money involved? Well, it can be. A lot of it's just to blow off steam, just to, you know, bragging rights. But yeah, sometimes people do put, put some money on it. Good, I have to... We might be pro-benders, so if that oh. happens, we might need, like, a training space that's, you know, like, local to our spot. So that's, like, good to know for that, too. Okay. So... I didn't know we had pro benders in our midst and gives you just this very well, dramatic fake bow. <laughs> okay, okay. It's in process. <laughs> We're talking. Our manager is in talks. Um, oh, no, hey, you got a manager. Uh, That's something. Yeah, yeah. There, uh, He is the best uh, in the business. Um, well, this has been a pleasure. Um what is this by i drank it last time too and i still don't know what it is honestly i have no very idea. like tangy okay yeah, it's, um it's here when i show up people drink it it i'm sure it's safe probably <laughs> good good yes i'm gonna look down into the glass i will drink the rest um okay uh i think i need to go maybe lie down for a bit before my friends show up but um uh do you need me to carry you to your 
Your dormitory? No, no I, I've, I've got it. I'll, I'll limp over. Um, but, uh... <laughs> okay, now I don't want to ask you because... Never mind. I, I'm it's just, fine. I'm just giving you crap. Okay, don't read into this. All right. I'm like, uh, seriously, like pinky promise across I'm the bar. Double don't pinky read promise. Into it. Great. Um, <laughs> what's what size deal? Just feelers. Absolute honesty. I have no idea. I don't think he's ever said two words to me. So he's kind of rude. Is that? I kind of got that feeling a little bit too. Really, like on distance. first impression, you know. Just doesn't really like people. Tends to take jobs alone. Okay. Oh, he hey, gets, seems like, it like you. Well, now I'm a little nervous though, because you say a distant, doesn't like people person. Likes me, is it a con? Is it a grift? Is it a, or is this like <laughs> genuine? I have never seen Zai try to grift anyone. Zai knows how to grift people. He's quiet. He does his job. Comes and goes. Takes his pay. Maybe you just struck a chord. Sure. Okay, but you're not reading into this, right? We did we did the thing. So don't okay, that's it. <laughs> I, I, we, I don't even uh, have this conversation. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, exactly. Nothing happened. Um except I drank a beer and I um just like awkwardly reach across the bar and like clap on the shoulder. Um <laughs> so good 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 bar talk. Okay. Yeah. Good night. <laughs> sure. Sure you don't need some help. Getting... No, I'm good. She's like holding the wall, just like moving through slowly. And we'll go it's, back to her room. There's just this heavy patch of fur and feathers that just like kind of pushes up to your side. And... Oh, hi, buddy. But he, he, uh, Hinoa, uh, what's, what's this one's name? What's the name then? I don't figure that's what you do with pets. Not my pet. I have to think about that. That's what I'm whispering to the cat peacock. Okay. Nice he just buddy. like walks thinking... step like for every step you take, he's obviously taking like three or four, but it's just like escorting you. Sweet. I think good. at that point. Our two other companions would finally make their way home, be greeted by about half a dozen folks that are kind of sleepily just raise their heads to look at the door and then go back to drinking or cards or napping at a table, whatever they were doing. You know, uh, the two of you. Long day? One that would require a drink, yes. You say would or wouldn't? Would. If you would please. I think I got something for that. No, whatever's strongest. Yeah, weird. We uh had some folks earlier saying that there was a fire. Yeah. Yeah, strange. Long day for a lot of people, I think. Pulls out some drinks for yep. the two of you. Um, thanks. Uh, this might sound weird. I promise you it's not the weirdest thing I've heard today. Uh, it's, it's a two-parter here. It's a two-parter <laughs> question, Afri. The first question is, are you a bender? <laughs> I am not. I mean, okay. unless you count me because physically bending things. Yes. I mean, you know, I mean, that's fair. Well, then the second question doesn't apply. Well, maybe it does. Have you ever heard of someone losing control of their, you know, bending? Of course. 
but like someone who's like really good <laughs> at not losing control of their bending. I mean, you've probably heard the stories of Avatar Aang. I mean, Avatar Aang was is a kid. When, when I was <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm I mean, not a kid, you know. Even as a kid, I love a bender. Yeah, I'm sure unrelated to the events that happened today out there. Yeah, yeah, totally, totally not related at all. Uh, uh, thanks. Uh, Have you seen? Have you seen our friend? Our friends. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Zai and Mayari. Yeah, they were both. Oh yeah. Okay, I I didn't know you didn't know their names. Sorry, that's fine. Yeah. Um. I mean, the wait. Zai? Why is that, why, when did Zai become our friend? I'm talking yeah. about Zai wasn't here. But you just... No, I didn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> Popped Wait, in Zai, for a we... moment you know to help <laughs> get your friend here safe and left. That's it. Mm. Okay. Wait. What do you... Amber rushes down. <laughs> R- rushes down to Mayari's room. <laughs> Faye will follow. Real Knocks thin the... corridor of like wooden doors on either side. These aren't like spacious rooms by any means. These are like 10 foot by 10 foot like cells. Why are I think yours is the one on the end. Door is closed. At this point, um, I'll leave it up to you whether or not you got to your bed and just passed out, or if you're still up. Yeah, I think so. I think she would have conked out, and yeah, is probably sleeping. So you probably hear like really muffled, weird, groany snores through the door. Oh. <laughs> All right, we'll face she's asleep. Ah, uh, okay. Well, uh, th- this is probably something we'll have to talk about tomorrow. Are you, are you okay? You've been kind of been kind of yeah. quiet. Yeah, I I feel bad. Um. Are are you gonna go to sleep? I mean, I, I'm gonna say yes, but I'm probably gonna be contemplating my entire life for quite a while. So, both uh, no and yes. Okay. Um, I'll be back in like ten minutes. Um, if I'm not back in ten minutes, then I'm. I don't know. I've been kidnapped or don't something. Don't say. Don't say. Wait, wait, wait. Ten, wait. ten minutes. I where swear. Are you, where, where are you going? No, I just need to return something. Okay. I don't. I, you don't want to know. Ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll right. send Zwak if I need help. Okay. I promise. All right. Well, be careful. Yeah. Yeah. You too. I mean, I'm just going to be in here, so. Hey, you know, could be dangerous in this area, too, so. (laughs) All right, I'll see you. I'll see you later. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Hey, you are taken back off. Ember, Mm -hmm. going to go finish your drink? Hang out at the bar for a while. Yeah. Um. Would you make the first roll of the game for us? Oh, hello. Oh, snap. What am I rolling? Just your creativity. Mm-hmm. Creativity. Remind me, this is 2d6. 
plus whatever mm. your bonus is. You're aiming for a 10 plus. All right, come on. That is a 10. And Whoa! I have a zero to creativity. I rolled a six and a four. I'll let you win. Nice. You return to the bar as Faye heads back off out to the sewers. And you're certainly welcome to sit there and talk to Hinoa for as long as you'd like, or sit there in silence. Whatever you prefer. The people around you don't really come to talk to you or really pay much attention to you. You do notice that there is movement behind you as a figure is up. And this is probably an hour after Faye has already left and heads out the door. Do I recognize the figure? Looked up very much keeping their, their features covered, as most people down here do. These are thieves, for the most part, and criminals. Um, and you say it's been an hour? About an hour, yeah. And Faye's not returned. Um, let's go half an hour, just to give Faye a little wiggle room. Okay. Uh, but anything you'd like to do as this figure is up and leaving. I will. I'll, I'll stand up and I'll follow. I'll follow this person. We're gonna take some. We're gonna take some foolhardy actions here. <laughs> Snap! They hit the door. Turn that door closes as you are just kind of you know speed walking your way up to it. Hit it. Push it open. You're staring out at empty sewer tunnels. Hmm. And I see no one. Nothing. I think Gimber's inspired to go outside. <laughs> I think he's going to go outside. We'll take a, a short step back in time before we jump over to to Faye's endeavor as from Mayari's room where Mayari is passed out and snoring the voices of Faye and Ember can be heard up to the door as a figure knife out stands by the door just waiting <laughs> but then the two walk off tucks the knife away, slips out of the room, into the main bar, and then slips out of the hideout. Wow. Hmm. We almost had combat there. Oh my mm. god. Mm. Hey, interesting. <laughs> Goodness. Hey. That would not have been a good impression. <laughs> Hey, what you doing? Okay, when I leave, I'm going to ask Zwok. I'm going to take out the helmet, and I'm going to ask Zwok to lead me to where he found the helmet. Uh, by this point, everything is pretty well closed. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, he'd lead you back to some of the more old fashioned like metal working workshops that you all have passed through when you first mm -hmm. uh, came through town. Great. Um, is this above or is this oh, in yeah. sewer? Okay. Yeah. Um, I, I'll go right up to it. And um, if, I mean, if it's closed, I'll, I'll try to peek to see if there's anyone inside. If maybe there's someone like, you know, doing some after hours work or something. I just want to get their attention. Oh, yeah. You'd see a old, old man, perfectly just like hunched over a desk, like those, those spectacles that have like multiple layers that you can flip down for magnification and like mm -hmm. has it on the max setting and is just like very carefully just like chipping away at a piece of metal as he's like, you know, engraving in it with just fine, precise detail. Oh, great. 
Yeah, I'll I'll try to like knock and uh, call out. Hey, uh, um, do you make helmets? The head kind of lifts up, and it's that moment of seeing through the magnified glen- the magnified lenses where his eyes are just <laughs> kind of blinks and puts the tools down, takes the glasses off, comes over to the door, unlocks it. What? Do you make helmets? No. No, I haven't made armor in many years. Oh, I, you wouldn't happen to... There's oh, ahead, a, uh, a munitions manufacturing plant across the city. I believe that part of the city is closed right now. Something about a fire. Oh... Okay, um... <laughs> yeah, I heard, I heard about that. That's... But, I, uh... I don't bother myself with... Whatever that is. That's fair. Have you... Okay, question. And I'll, I'm gonna take the helmet out and say... Is this yours? Where did you find that? Um, a friend found it, and, uh, you know, my my little buddy here brought me back, and my little buddy here, and I, I'm going to pick up Zwok, and this is very much like a, Zwok didn't know what I was planning, and so Zwok's like, what? <laughs> it's like, he's just like, Zwok? <laughs> and I'm like, I'm trying to put Zwok on the spot, so, so that it's like, okay, my little friend here uh, said that they... Sp- they, he saw a place where you know maybe that you maybe this belongs to you. So he's the one you have to thank for returning this if it's yours. Walk, who clearly got pulled out of like a scan of the room as to trying to see what's valuable to Nick, <laughs> and is just hoisted into the air. Quite the companion you've got there. Can't say that I've ever seen. You said Zwak is the name? Zwak! Yes, well. Thank you, young Zwak, for returning this. Uh... Yes, this, this was my helmet back. Long ago, back. Well, another time. But. Ah. Uh. Um. And you can see, like, on that desk where he was working, there's photos, there's drawings, um, some of which you would kind of recognize from what Ember has. Military insignia, remnants of time served in the Fire Nation, but oh. now he enjoys retirement in the public city. Does it... Does it seem like he's re- been retired for a while? Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I'm just gonna give the helmet back and just be like, hey, um, sorry, sorry to have bothered you. Um, my oh, friend. No, no bother. Was, yeah, he was just very insistent that we return this. Again, I, I do appreciate it. Um, yeah. Please, uh, yeah. Hey, I was about to. But eventually go and fix myself some dinner if you'd like to stay and yeah of course free dinner i would <laughs> love we would love that i bull just kind of like reaches back and starts fixing his long gray ponytail pulling it back his hairs have kind of fallen out you know since he's been bent over his desk mm-hmm. oh. yeah. Make yourself at home, and be right back. Yeah. Um, and yeah, Faye is gonna, Faye is gonna, like, just, just have Zwok up in his arms. Um, this is his, like, covert technique to keep Zwok from stealing anything else from this, this man. Um, but yeah, Faye is just happy to have some food, and I don't know, feel, I, I guess this, this is part of his um i guess steps 
towards writing himself internally for, in in Day's eyes, because you know Day frowns upon uh, the 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 callous and casual thievery that <laughs> that we do. <laughs> yeah, just a little. Yeah, <laughs> it's mostly Zwak, to be fair. Right. <laughs> Oh my uh, gosh. But yeah. This individual is named as I just now remember to pull up my notes. Uh, name is Rasmus. A master iron worker. Oh. Okay. Cool. Um Rasmus, uh, I was wondering if you knew how to repair machinery. I, I never had the patience for some of that newfangled machinery. I okay. prefer the old-fashioned ways. That's fair. I, I've just got a friend who could could use some help and uh, I know how to build things I know how to break things I don't know how to fix things <laughs> you have them come by I can see what I can do okay okay yeah yeah uh, I'll keep you in mind um uh, thank you so much. Uh, question. Like, is there any chance that I could, like, this dinner, if I could uh, not finish all of it and um, kind of sneak some into my pockets? Absolutely. I'm great. As, as good as his eyesight is, like, within two feet outside of that... I don't think that he can see you very well. The sneaking okay, cool. isn't really all that necessary. Great. I, now I'm just hoping that it's not like curry or something. <laughs> I mean, it's, I don't want to have loose loose curry in my pockets. <laughs> it, it's the kind of thing that you'd be able to like prepare once and just have it like taking little okay. bits like rice balls or like fantastic on the go. For you. Yeah. Great. So, like, whatever my portion is, I'll have, like, mentally figured out, like, okay, I, it doesn't seem like Kim's down there, nor is Day, so then I'll have, like, split it up, so I ate, I ate a third of it, and I'm saving two-thirds each for Ember and for Mayari. Pocket food. Uh... Yeah, I mean, for as long as you'd like, you're welcome to sit and talk and hear about his service in the Fire Nation and life since he moved here. Um, mm -hmm. He did move here with his lovely wife, but the two of them settled down here in retirement many years ago, and the years have passed, and now it's just him. Oh. He seems very eager for the company. Okay, yeah, I, I would have spent, uh, you know what, in that case, if, if Zwak, uh, I mean, in my eyes, Zwak, after a little bit of convo, he's, he's done. <laughs> and so, I'd probably, like, sneak the, the little rice balls over to Zwak, and I'm uh, like, hey, take this to Ember and Mayari, if, if Mayari's up. And so this will be like my way of being like, okay, I'm safe. Walk, of course, would give the shop one last look before taking the food and heading off out to the street. Which, speaking of being out in the street, Ember. That figure... Um immediately disappeared uh, using a move literally called Vanish Without a Trace. Eee. Snap. Oh, dang it, I'm not. 
I'm not. I'm not. I'm not towards my other. <laughs> Otherwise, I would. I would take it. No way. No way. Am I? No, I could take it. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, Ember, em, Ember, like. Like Ember, like there's a moment where like he opens the door and nobody's there and he's like mad about it. He's like he's like things keep like the thought that runs through his head is things keep getting out of his control. There's so many things that are happening that he can't mm -hmm. that he can't do anything against. And he has this moment of like clarity where he just thinks wait a second I'm I'm a fire nation soldier I'm supposed to keep the peace and then he rushes out onto the under the streets um and he, when he when he gets up out of the sewers um he's going to um use his fire bending and and also physical you know, prowess to just parkour his way up onto a rooftop um like he did like when we were stanking out and he's going to move from rooftop to rooftop looking for anyone committing a crime <laughs> a button to assess the situation nice Ready. assess the situation uh, let, me see, let me make sure Things don't. Okay, that's yeah, fine then. Let's use this creativity. Ooh, that's a three. <laughs> um, well, you can mark that you failed to roll this session. Lovely. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> there are certainly people out and about, but really, it mostly seems just like normal business nothing crime adjacent i think uh, i think that it sends him even more like t into more anger and he he, he stop on a rooftop and just sort of like sit there with his like feet hanging off He's like kicking him, and he uh, he takes a, a deep breath, and they're like blue flames that lick around his shoulders when he does it. And he does it again, and it does it even brighter. You hear a voice from that same rooftop. You know you're not gonna catch me again with the same trick. I know you're up here now. Is that you? Zai, is that you? Yeah. Just comes up here from the shadows, which to, to someone who rolled a three on their assessor situation might seem like <laughs> magic, but really he just climbed. <laughs> there, yeah. You out to terrorize more people and their property? I was training new criminals how to do things properly without getting anyone hurt. I wasn't terrorizing anyone. And you keep telling yourself that. I will, and I'll keep telling you that. This, this city has a life to it. Has a flow, order, and chaos. If you take away either, it all comes crumbling down. What is chaos? But something to be stumped out by control. It comes over and takes a seat next to you. Today was bad. It was really bad. Even by our standards, that was... 
So you were there. Was? In fact, I was there to do something very similar. Mm -hmm. Didn't. Is your order of, uh, or your agent of order stopped me. I'm assuming that's uh, my army. Like it <laughs> looked like she tried to stop you. I hear you brought her back safely. The least I could do. Oh, I suppose there is some good in you then. Is there? Did you really measure the world in just good and evil? What else do you measure it in? There are those that disrupt and those that don't. <laughs> What's the avatar to you then? Hell of a disruptor. Avatar has always been the one who kept the peace the most. Yeah, but, uh. I call a lot of stories of being a disruptor. Fighting against the way that things are. Aiming for a future of the way that things should be. Oh, so you think everyone should be going around breaking into people's homes and taking things then? I think people should do... whatever works towards a better future. Don't this get me wrong, I, I fall under the category of being a bad person. Do it with the best of intentions. I'm not saying don't protect your own or don't seek a better life, but there's got to be a better way. Right? Before the, uh, the organized crime in uh, Republic City. This place was pretty lawless for a while. Back when it was first formed. Oh, yeah. yeah. Then you have people like Don that stepped up and said, you can either do bad things on my watch, or you don't get to do bad things at all. The latter seems like a better idea. For the most part. Please leave us alone. Crime here is... petty theft. There's no murder. No major crimes. Call that a win. Smuggling. You know, all my life, I was told that for the Fire Nation to repent and make up for all the things that was done before Avatar Aang, we had to protect everyone, keep the peace, to bring order and justice to the world. And yet, here, I've seen nothing but disorder. <laughs> nothing but chaos and those who hate others so much so that they would make them endanger everything around them. Those who have to steal just to survive. What order is that? 
order doesn't work. Of course, not to hash on old wounds, but... We've seen when people try to impose order on the world. It doesn't go well. And what am I here for? I don't know. But Ari needs you. He needs you. It needs you. It needs you. If it was meant to be here, yeah. it wouldn't be. Who do you need? What do you need? How would you feel about making a guide and comfort roll? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Yeah, I would gladly. You feel mm, like you're pushing for answers, sorry. and that might give you some. Yeah. That's real. We're doing harmony. Let's, I'm trying to you make sure this. that's. No. Uh, yes. 2d6 plus your harmony. Yeah. All right. That's a four. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. That second growth part. Second fail. <laughs> uh, yeah, just turns to look at you. It's not important. I'm here for me, and you can tell that there is more to this statement. It, there is clearly an answer to that question, but he's just <laughs> stopping himself. Uh, uh. No one's keeping you here. You can leave whenever you want. The fact that you don't means you're supposed to be here. sense. <laughs> Don't read too much into it. I'm a bad guy, remember? I don't think you're a bad guy. Oh. Now you're just spreading fake rumors. Gets to his feet. Well, you'd excuse me, I have more, uh, what did you call it? Terrorizing the populace to do? Before you go, do what you need to. You need to survive to whatever it is that you're trying to do. And you say you don't try to hurt anyone, but if you do, you answer to me. Yeah. Good. We should hold each other accountable. All of us. Good night, Zai. I'm gonna put a pause in that scene for just a moment. Brings back down to my Ari. The door to your room just opened a, a crack. As a figure was in there and then slipped out. Zwak using that opportunity to, to just kick the door in, just armful of food. Ha! <laughs> yes. Goes over and just starts climbing up onto the bed. What is that smell? Zwak! <laughs> Zwak! <laughs> uh, like, like an avenger in the night at the foot of your bed is Zwak. <laughs> <laughs> an armful of like dumplings and rice balls. What are you doing? This smells delicious. But what are you doing? I'm gonna start shoveling, taking food and shoveling <laughs> it <Zwack>. into mouth. <laughs> oh my god! Thank you. It's so good. What? Where's Faye? Zwack. And he's gonna point <laughs> up. <laughs> Did y'all come back or just stayed up? Top. Zwack. 
Okay. Yeah, I don't I don't know if that's a yes to either one of those. <laughs> okay. Um <laughs> thank you for the food. This is great. Where's uh is Ember up top too? Uh Zwok looks very unsure. He has no idea where Ember is. Well, I'm up, so I guess I'm, I'm up. Um, I'm gonna... I already will try to straighten up her clothes really quick and then uh, um, look to Zwok and be like, Alright, let's go. We're going. And start to go out and see if um, if they can find Ember. And eventually also Faye, when Faye comes back. Yeah. As you and your trusty guide into the sewers and eventually hits the now night air of Republic City. All three of you from different vantage points around the city would all see a very similar sight of some kind of small, maybe 10 to 15 person airship coming in towards Republic City, which is not uncommon. Airships come and go. Except this one is clearly belching smoke. There's sparks and flames coming from it. And then it is just like a firework show going off. Just a chain of explosions. And the entire thing just starts to plummet to the ground. I start rushing that way. <laughs> oh yeah. my gosh. Jumping across yeah. rooftops. Using this the fire so pinning I... to spell myself. This is probably about half a mile outside the city. Looks like it's going to be landing. So this is a journey. <laughs> what? Yeah. But of course, Zwak leads you to Faye, who is also up and running down the street. Faye! Faye! Hey! Come up! Hey, hey, uh, did you, did you see the, the, the thing? Did, did you, did you see that? Yeah, that's wild. Um, where, sorry, where's, where's Ember? I, I don't know, uh, and I'm just gonna go, like, as loud as I can. Ember! <laughs> I mean, a rooftop you... vigilante, I, I will leave it up to you. <laughs> I, f I feel like Ember might be coming around like the same area at this time and he's like the rooftop across from y'all and he, he's like oh and he jumps down and uses his flames to like <laughs> cushion his fall what are y'all so doing what are y'all doing out here right now did you see that yeah yeah, yeah. Saw, saw the the thing. I was coming up to to look for you. Zwak led me up this way. What are you both doing up here? Well, the agent of order coming to look for me. I feel honored. Agent of order. That's a <laughs> <stick> <laughs> nickname. <laughs> don't don't worry about it. I, it's a, it's yeah, it's okay. Okay. Um. Yeah. Uh, God. Oh my god, I'm rem seeing the two of you standing next to each other. So, okay, I had this crazy dream, and Zwaka and Luck were getting married, but you were Ember and Faye, you were Zwaka's parents, and Don and Kim were Luck's parents. Luck is the cat peacock. And you were warring against each other, and, and it, it was a whole thing. It was a dream. I'll tell you some other time. What are we doing? Um, I was gonna go check that out, because people might be hurt. Okay, um, I will not be able to move very fast in that direction. Is there like a, a vehicular, is there, are there taxis? <laughs> There's carts. Carts, we could, I mean, is, if you can, were we, can we you hop could, a wagon? Yeah, absolutely. Is, is there, is there one, are they, are they not being used or are they like, is this like a taxi car, like somebody's pulling it? Or it's it like... It, looks like there's just like kind of communal sheds where you know carts and wagons are just placed for anyone in that vicinity that happens to need them 
Oh, oh great. that's so awesome. All right. Pop Communal it. carts, that's very... <laughs> All right, yep. Yeah. And Ember's going to, like, get this thing and start running. Let's go. <laughs> yes, let's go! Faster! Let's go! <laughs> Uh, if, if I if I can, I will somehow use my firebending to speed me up. Oh, absolutely! <laughs> just <laughs> leaving just this very this flickering trail of flame underneath the cart as you just nice zooming Ooh, your way. Wait, did did we say it rained recently? Oh yeah. Okay, great. Um, then I am gonna also help speed us up by freezing any kind of like dampness like mm. on the street or like taking the water and basically a thin sheet of ice like just under like I don't know if the front anyway part of the wheels just constant, constantly going <laughs> camera just pans out at this empty street and slow motion we just come <laughs> skidding around the corner <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, bumpy, right? we take off out of the city Towards the mountains, following the the road that leads out and up, you're clearly not the only ones that have seen this. But most people would look at that and say, "I can't do anything about that. I hope they're okay. I'll let the the proper authorities know." Mm-hmm. But you're not most people. <laughs> yeah. and this, is, this is what an Ember does. He's trying to do this. Um. Two of you are benders. Hello. Oh no. What? The two of you roll your harmony. No. Okay. I think I have nothing to harmony, which is exciting. (laughs) Um. Yes. In fact, I'm a negative one. What'd you get? I got double sixes. This is a twelve. Oh, nice. Okay, I got one six. Two sixes! Oh no. my gosh! An 11, 11 for my negative one harmony. Could, do you think that, you, would you say that we harmonized? Absolutely. Oh. Your two bending elements just working in tandem, sprinting your way out, out of the city towards this wreckage, which is now just a fireball just over the horizon. And the two of you have this odd moment of seeing something else in the smoke. Almost like creatures that are just crawling over the top of this airship. But they're not really there, but you can see them. And they kind of seem to just flicker in and out. They, from what you can see at this distance, it almost looks... They almost look little, like, demonic imps, but winged. Um, uh, do y'all see that? Or yeah, yeah I, I... yeah, I see that. Nope, nope, I'm with you, I'm with you. What the? Uh, what? Yeah, uh, they, like, freaky little creatures in the, in the smoke. I don't see that. Hey, they're right there. Yeah, they're, they're like... I mean, I can't point because I got the cart, but, you know, we, we <laughs> might My artist points are... I, I don't know. <laughs> right there! That one! That one just moved! It just moved through the smoke! Both of you see this? Yeah. You, loud and clear. <laughs> okay. All right. I mean, they're kind of hard to make out, but they're there. You don't see it? No! All right, hold on. I'm turning on the burners, quite literally. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. You can go fast. By this point, you can hear people shouting, calling out to oh, each God. other, asking, "Are you all right back there? Hey, grab the survivors, get them to safety, get them to the city." And then cries of pain, and you see like another jet of flame, but this isn't from the airship. This is from a firebender that just let off some kind of burst of fire, and then pillars of earth just come shooting up at seemingly nothing. By the time you crest the hill and you can full see this scene, there are injured folks being just kind of ushered your direction towards the city, and the few that are still able to stand are fighting 
something. And then for a moment you can see them, just the same vile looking creatures, almost enjoying this, their faces kind of permanently marred with this wicked smile. We gotta help them get away. Um, is there any kind of large body of water? Like, is there any kind of water in the, the vicinity? The ground that's is like... soaked with rain, which is probably okay. the only reason that more buildings didn't go up in fire. Oh my gosh. Um, uh, as soon as we're, like, close enough, I think, and I, I think even as we're going in the cart, Mayari's gonna start just pulling the liquid out of the damp earth um, and is going to essentially try I don't know that she's done this before but she is going to try to uh, turn them into uh, clouds to rain on the, the ship Ooh. Ooh. that's real cool uh, how would you feel about relying on your skills and training I think that is good, I think. Which one is that? Or focus, focus, yes. I'm great nice. with that. Let's do it. Um, okay. Ooh, not a great first roll. Uh, that is an eight. The cloud does kind of start to form, but it's less of rain and more of just splashes, just dropping okay, down no. just like someone keeps Not... just pouring buckets of water at random points oh semi-effective i guess i'm gonna just yeah keep trying to put out um the flames do we hear anyone else in the wreckage or does it seem like mostly everyone's gotten or that there everyone's is gotten definitely out? still shouting from the wreckage okay yeah i'm gonna keep keep on with the water pulling it up and dumping it onto um the wreckage well since we are likely about to enter combat, why don't we take a moment to take a break, get a drink, stretch your legs, do what you gotta do, and we'll come back with a fighting a creature that doesn't exist in this game. This is entirely a creature that I made up, so oh my good luck. Gosh. <laughs> Exciting. <I'm> scared. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> Lovely. And welcome back. Where we left off, our heroes did the sensible thing and charged towards the danger. An airship that had been attacked by something and had been driven to the ground. The occupants now mostly being ushered towards Republic City. Those that aren't standing to fight and those that aren't still trapped in the flaming debris. I feel like we should kick up some... Uh, Oh, that music here. Oh, let's get it. Let's get it. Combat. So, in combat, we have three phases. We have the defend and maneuver, the advance and attack, or the evade and observe. I'll give you all a moment to determine where you want to be. As I mentioned to the players when we went to break, uh, we are fighting a, a homebrew creature. It is a swarm. They're going to act in each of the three phases instead of just choosing one. Which may change if they uh, find themselves on the, on the ropes and need to go more offensive. So... Does anybody like to kick us off with some defend and maneuver? Yes, indeed. I'm here. All right. Our cameras are mixed up. Hold on. Oh, fun. There you go. Now we're now we're right. <laughs> yeah, Ember, you want to kick us off? Yes, indeed. So I'm gonna roll with focus here, focus. which I have a, a plus two in because I'm cool. Uh, that's twelve. Okay. Uh, so you can choose one from that list instead. You can mark a fatigue to use a learn technique. You can use one practice technique or two different 
basic or master techniques um so here's what i'll do then i'm gonna use two master techniques or one one basic one mastered oh wait no you said two or you can switch it up board. you could use one mastered and one basic okay cool beans <laughs> um so i'm gonna seize a position first okay. um and i'm gonna i'm gonna get closer and i'm gonna try to put myself in between um those who are hurt and fleeing and the enemy okay. um and then i will use my steady stance um as i like i he sort of like rushes forward um with his with his fire bending to boost his speed and then he like settles in front of everybody and he like takes a stance he like sweeps his foot in this fire that comes out from the bottom and he is in a defensible stance right, trying to basically trying to um, protect those who are running away there's certainly uh, a moment where these fleeing individuals look at you and they have that that moment of was this an attack are these people here to finish us off and then see you you know defend them breathe that sigh of relief and then push on um because i'm taking steady stance any of the any foes engaged who choose to attack in advance must mark one fatigue mm -hmm. well the first section of the swarm is also going to go with their defend and maneuver and they're going to retaliate basically just kind of pushing themselves to form this barrier not quite lashing out to attack you but keeping themselves covered that if one of them does get attacked the rest can immediately pile on and lash back out in return uh, i'd also like to defend a maneuver absolutely um i think uh it, are we all we're up close enough to engage right so at the moment ember has mm -hmm. gone up ahead you're all kind of at what would be far range from the ship itself ember's about halfway to the ship okay um then i guess i'd want to seize a position so that i could get closer um and, uh, and establish an advantageous your position focus. than Abel. Yes. Wrong guy. Six. Double sixes again! Uh, four nice. with focus a plus two. That is 14. Nice. Holy crap. I will even let you carry that remaining two over for Faye if you'd like. Ooh, yeah. I'm down for that. Faye, Dang. take it. Basically um, just absolutely just working in tandem you and Faye simultaneously charging in, bolstering up your companion by your side. Yes. You um, have the same options. Okay, I would like to... Um, I guess as we're kind of charging up, am I seeing creatures... I'm, I'm trying to assess if I see a creature closer than I um, might want to be ready to engage with that or if i don't then i'm going to want to focus on dampening the fire there's so none guess... closer than the ones that are around ember even those okay. fade in and out of okay cool then i'm going to focus on um trying to put out the fire um so i am going to uh use two different basic techniques um, I'll use one to seize a position and establish an advantageous position. Um, so any foe engaged with me can mark a negative one to block this technique if they'd like, um, if anyone is engaging. And then I'd wow. like to use ready. Um, and so I'm going to mark a fatigue to ready myself. Um, or it says to ready yourself or your environment, um, clearing a fictionally appropriate status. So if I'm close enough, um, what I'd like to do is ready the environment by essentially trying to put out more of this fire um, mm -hmm. and give the people in the fire the favored oh. um, status so that they can use an additional basic 
or master technique in their next exchange. Hopefully to get out. Um, <laughs> if, if I could offer some suggestion. Yes, please. I might go with the prepared condition. You okay. would ready them for what's to come. They, they can clear prepare to take a plus one on, a, on an appropriate roll or avoid marking a condition. Avoid marking a condition. Definitely yes, going to be that... marking conditions. Okay, then I'll do that. Thank you. Yeah. Great. Just kind yes, of bringing so up this are... wall of moisture, combating the wall of fire. Um, nice. That brings us to advance and attack. Oh, okay. Nope. <laughs> well, here come the monsters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, they are gonna go with smash. I'm gonna mark a feed. And they just start just ripping into what's left of this airship, causing walls to start to bend and buckle under the weight of their attacks and the fire. But yeah, uh, do it. they make an, uh, well, I don't know. Are they engaged with, are they engaged with me? They are all? technically engaged with both you and Bayari because it is a swarm. They take up a very large space. It says, uh, so for citizens, any who choose to attack new events, they must mark. Absolutely. another fatigue sweet i'm just that cool Hell yeah. there's enough of them that have been drawn off to deal with you it's those that are left are having to put in extra work to do the same amount of damage to the ship ah and that brings us to evade and observe let's go <laughs> okay so did you say there was a plus two carried over yes. from? Yeah, the plus two oh, that's so sick! Oh my gosh. Okay, I do have a question though. Um, like, currently, as far as the efforts are concerned, are there still people trapped? Okay. Okay. The ship is rapidly um, collapsing around. Okay, and I still can't see these beings. It it looks oh like there gosh. are benders fighting nothing. <laughs> all right all right <laughs> okay <laughs> okay so what what i would like to do here actually you know i'm gonna roll first because I, I i got to to see if i can if i can do anything i believe uh, in you. okay you got this all right that's a nine Woo. a nine with the bonus yes with the bonus <laughs> you have a single basic or master technique Okay, so what I would like to do here is um, if there, uh, there there's like a, a group of people who like aren't actively fighting who are just kind of kind of like innocents that are running. They are actively um, running past you to get back to the city. Okay, okay. So uh, what I would like to do is um, I, I would I would like to uh, set up. Like, um, okay, this will be in the, the hinder category, but I'm trying to set up like a, uh, I'm, I'm busting out that old, that old tech again, the, the, the kind of waxy surface on the ground, essentially to, to make it so that it'll be harder for any, any of these invisible foes to catch up to the innocents that are, um, already like running running off running away okay um and i guess since it would be a status um i i'd like to i'd like to put uh impaired on like the <laughs> the bit of swarm that's coming <laughs> makes sense to me the part that broke off to chase down the survivors um, what do they run into? What is this tech? Yeah, so it's that it's that mind your beeswax uh, three thousand. Yeah. Um, it's just a little bit where it's like uh, I, I kind of have like two two things where I'm like, okay, 
maybe this will slow them down wherever they are. I'm just kind of going like shotgun approach so that it's like, I can't see them. So hopefully it'll be everywhere where I need it to be. Uh, but I'm also kind of hoping that like, I might see the steps. Because I can imagine that I probably see the destruction going on on the ship. Mm -hmm. I just don't see the beings. So if I see where the, the footfalls are landing, that might give me some targets in the next round. <laughs> Absolutely. Just pulling the focus towards you, impeding their efforts to chase down the survivors. They are uh, impaired. Sick, thank you. Bring this to the next round. Anyone going with defend a maneuver? I am now empowered because I didn't take any conditions at that time. Beautiful. Nice. I am going with defend a maneuver. Um. Yeah. I think. Let's see what I get. Roll it with focus. Not as great as last yeah. time. And eight, nine. Nine total. So one basic or master technique. Um, so I think I'm going to use ready again um, to to keep trying to to help these folks out. I don't know that I know of a better way than to assist. Well, I guess like for next time, since I'm using defend and maneuver this time. What would be the move that I might want to use to, like, like, are, is there a move to, like, extract people, I guess? And what would seize that move position. be? Just so I, seize a position? Mm -hmm. Okay, then I'll, I'll do that. Like, if I can see anyone, I so, will essentially, yeah, yeah, attempt to water whip somebody out. The first round was basically getting up to where Ember is and, you know, mm -hmm. pushing back with that flames. If you... This round, if you wanted, you could full on get to the ship, start f full battling oh. the fire, trying to keep pathways open for people to escape, um, and even diving in and going in to help people if you want. Okay. Yes. Uh, can I can I do that with the one move, yeah. or can I just like put? Okay, then yes, I would like to put out as like clear that pathway as best I can, um, and then if I see like anyone, I'd like to start. Um, essentially trying to water, whip, slash guide people out. Um, I will say that if you are still in the burning airship next round, you will start taking fatigue. Great. Thank you. Um, and okay. for the last round, when Faye, you inflicted a condition on them. Or no, you didn't inflict a mm. condition, you inflicted a status. Hmm. That is an important distinction. Because Retaliate doesn't do anything <laughs> about statuses. Yes! Hey. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> um, they are not going to use any defender maneuver. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Fun. Uh-oh. <laughs> We're on to no. advance and attack. Yeah, I'm doing that. Oh. Me, uh, me too. I'm gonna roll. We're gonna roll with passion. I got plus one of that now. Oh gosh, that's that's a six total. So you can shift your balance away from center to still use a basic technique. <laughs> but yeah, shifting my balance. <laughs> 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 um, so yeah, how many I, away from the end are you? I've, I'm there. Um, <laughs> I'm at it. Um, oh my so, gosh! So I'm just gonna take that one. <laughs> I was gonna take that failure. Goodness! Um, but do you do you now have uh, a centering technique, right? Because you lost your balance last time. Right? Am I misremembering that? Did you not lose your balance last time? Oh no, I did lose my balance. Oh, so my my my, my balance should be in the middle then, right? Because then there's a reset. Oh, yeah. you're you're one over. Oh. It shifts one because over you towards over, whatever so your, direction. Your whole center is moved one closer to um, 
Oh, uh, so I should, I should be plus one. Okay, well then I will take that. <laughs> I will do it. <laughs> oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> right. One basic technique. Plus two. Um, one basic technique. Here we go. I'm going to. Well, it's gonna be great. I'm going to strike. Um, um, uh, you see, some of them are like moving towards those who are running away that I'm mm-hmm. like impose myself between so I feel like they're trying to get past and, and I'm just gonna uh, Ember just lashes out with punches and kicks um, at them um, and if I reach, forcing them to mark they mark two fatigue I'm gonna, I'm gonna mark them, have them mark two fatigue um, so you can either do the strike and they get to choose what happens or you can mark a fatigue there. and you get to choose. I will mark a fatigue and then they, then they will mark two fatigue. <laughs> uh, cool. They have almost hit their first layer of fatigue. First layer. First layer. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Seven health bar up here. Uh-huh. <laughs> Boss hey, man. what you got? Yeah, okay. So I'm wondering, out of the... Because you said there are other benders that are mm-hmm. fighting these things. Um, is there one close enough to me that I I could consider like someone that I could work with? I would say they'd be close enough, whether or not okay. they're willing to fight side by <laughs> okay. side with you. Okay, we'll see. I'm gonna. <laughs> My passion is not great, so we'll see how this goes. Okay. Um. That is a fail. Straight up <laughs> with a five. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so you can shift your balance to at least get a basic move. Okay. Um Yeah, yeah. I'll I'll shift my balance. Uh I I'm I'm becoming I guess in this case, I mean I I've given up. I what I was planning on doing was to to tag team an invisible enemy with one of these guys, but then I'm like, nah, I I'll do this myself, <laughs> and I'm gonna try. I'm just gonna launch like random kicks to where uh, it's like, oh, you've got to be here, right? Oh, come on. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> so you're just going with the strike. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Are you taking a fatigue or are you just doing the the normal option? Um I'm I'm just doing wait a second. Uh You know what? I'm going to take the fatigue. I'm I live in fatigue land. Let's go. <laughs> are you inflicting a condition or inflicting the fatigue? Um so in that case, I I'll 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 inflict the fatigue. Let's go. We're gonna we're gonna hit weak spots. We're gonna do like I, I imagine it's just like blindly flailing, and I accidentally hit them where it hurts, and just like oh that worked. <laughs> More disruptive, just being in the way, occasionally feeling like your hand passes through something, <sighs> and you are you're a useful distraction at the moment, which is great. 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 <laughs> uh, they have hit their first layer of fatigue. Okay. And they are going to advance and attack with two different moves. They are going to pressure, so they're going to stop Mayari from using defend and maneuver. Ooh. They're going to smash to destroy like another suction of the airship. The path that my RB took is starting to collapse. Damn it. Oh no. Ah, I'm getting trapped! <laughs> and I think it's just them left with evade and observe. Um, these things are almost curious about Faye, who is diving into this fight, clearly not a bender, <laughs> not seeing anything, but still here. <laughs> Uh, they're gonna test your balance. Oh, Ooh. snap. Ooh. So they're gonna ask what your principle is. 
Uh, is it both of them? Uh, what are you leaning more towards? Oh, confidence. Yeah. I think there's a moment where one of them, like, even though they don't think you can see them, like, full takes <laughs> a hit from you and just kind of stumbles away almost comically. Just leaning more, bolstering <laughs> you, bolstering your confidence, uh, shifting your balance one more. Oh, snap. Which you I'm can try like, to oh, resist if you'd like. Oh my gosh. No, I'm gonna be confident. Like, at this moment, I just feel like, oh my gosh, I hit something. They do exist. And then we're gonna hinder because I am mean and evil. <laughs> and we're gonna inflict the trapped condition to Mayari. Oh, oh no! Oh, that pathway behind you full on closes. Closes in. Oh god. Uh, so I have to mark a combination of three conditions or fatigue in order yeah. to escape. Um, would I do that right now or later? Um, really, whenever you want, whenever you want to get out of the trapped position you're in. Yeah. All right. But that will bring us to the top of the next round. That group of survivors has officially left the battlefield. You are left with only the handful of fighters and whoever's still trapped inside. Do we have an idea of, like, do I, in being inside of it, have an idea of how many people are trapped inside? Um, by this point, you've run into maybe two that were trying to combat the flames. You can hear voices calling out from deeper in the ship. But at the moment, it's just you and a couple others actively fighting your way through the flames. Okay. Anyone want to kick us off with some Defendo Maneuver? Yes. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's see how this goes. All right. Whew. Oh my gosh, that's a 12! Nice! <laughs> Get it. Here we go! Yeah. Uh, what's your oh. total? Do it to him. Okay. Do it to him. Uh, Is your total over oh 12? My. Oh my goodness. My... Hang on one second. I'm sorry. I forgot what defend and maneuver. I got so caught up. I forgot what I'm it's supposed focus. to do. Oh, it's a 13. I'll nice. carry that plus one over to whoever wants it. Yeah. Sick. Okay. So first off, I want to seize a position. Um, I'd like to, I'd like to move up to where, um, Mayari and Ember are. If I can make it. Uh, uh, Mayari it is twice. not in sight. Okay, I'll move. I'll I'll move up to where Ember is. Yeah, where's Mayari? Did I did I see that? Absolutely. They're trapped in the in the ship. All right, I'm going. I'm gonna seize a position again and go go in. <laughs> They are gonna mark a fatigue and block you. Oh no! <laughs> they, the, the two, the two smart. They're too smart. How, if, even how as you... you start running, something is just pulling at you. Just your clothes just start appearing ripped, and there's blood starting to trickle down from just little like paper cuts, basically. But they are just holding you back. Okay. Uh, no one else for Defend and Maneuver? Well, they are going to take one Defend and Maneuver, and they're going to go with Retaliate. Yeah. Oh, they're we're really on to uh, Advance and Attack. I'm... Oh, that's I'm... me. You can go first. No, no, you go. Oh. <laughs> um, um, because this is, this is a new round so to speak mm -hmm. uh, i get to unmark one fatigue because of um, because i'm empowered 
Um, yeah. And I'm gonna roll with my passion. Oh gosh. Oh. Uh, can I take that plus one? <laughs> yeah. If I get that, if yeah. I get that plus one, that, that'll be it. Because I got five. My passion is is plus one, so that's six. So one more. Okay. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> uh, <laughs> cool beans. Um, so I'm going to use I'm going to use fire blade. Um, and. Since they just tried to block my dear friend from going to save my other dear friend, um, uh, Ember again hold like does the like a finger, and the line of fire draws in the air and then it shoots down to the floor, um, uh, 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 slicing through uh, a piece of if there's if they're like standing on something, uh, it it destabilizes their footing and, and it inflicts two fatigue and impaired on them and i get to i get a mark on fatigue for doing this there's even a moment where you're you know calling up the flames but everything is so soaked from the rainfall one of the other benders that have been battling these things just kind of leaps over lends their own flame to you and it's just this burst of fire from the two of you <laughs> Lovely. That's so cool. Uh, and I believe I also marked <sighs> another fatigue because they retaliated. They do retaliate. <sighs> um, you just hit them with bending. Oh, something's gonna happen. <laughs> oh yo. Um, quick question: Is it is it a fatigue per fatigue that I give them, or is it just nope. a fatigue? It's just one total. Okay. Cool. Um, they are going to take a positive status from that. They do get hit oh. by the flame, but part of it does get absorbed, and they are now also empowered. Oh my gosh! Oh, oh no! Oh god! <laughs> that makes sense, they're living in the fire. <laughs> no! Alright, cool beans. They, they still get impaired though? They do. <laughs> oh, nice! <laughs> um they oh no um I are... yes, yes you're also i'm gonna okay i am going to i think <laughs> mayari sees this cave in and immediately like heart pounding i'm going to attempt to get out of the trapped condition by um i'm gonna take the condition afraid or the status um i'm taking the condition afraid and I'm marking two fatigue, so that's my three combo. Um, and I'm gonna use smash. Um, so my Ari is going to, um, hand shaking, just trying to stay focused, breathing. She's gonna open up her flask and pull out the water and then shape it around her fist into like basically an ice boxing glove. Um, and she's just gonna start wailing on the um, area where it all kind of caved in to um, try to open up that um, opening again. Uh, to, so I'm going to mark one fatigue. Two earthbenders with you, just like every time you clear a spot, they're just bringing up a pillar of earth to keep it from recollapsing. Yes. Um, I'm looking to them like just absolutely frenzied, but like, thank you. Um, and so with that, I can possibly inflict or overcome a fictionally appropriate positive status. So I'm assuming that's helping me overcome the trap, or will I get to give a positive status to my comrades? Um, I'll leave it up to you. You can take one less fatigue, or you can give a positive status. Okay. Um, I think I'll keep the fatigue and I'll give them a po po I'll give them a positive status. Um, and you think prepared is the one that will help I would say prepared, yeah. Most. Okay, then I'll give them the prepared status. They're basically also just cooking inside this, yeah. this furnace. <clears throat> but with your help, they are clearing out hallways, they are getting to trapped people, and they are moving them to safety. Just 
one of them just turns and just slams their foot down and creates this tunnel down into the earth and just starts ushering people down. That's good, that's good. Yeah. We're gonna get out! Um, you being where you are, even as it looks like you've got everyone, the two earthbenders <laughs> turn and start heading down the tunnel themselves. You hear whispers, loud, loud whispers that can be heard over the roar of the flame. Are they saying anything in particular? It's such a cacophony of noise that there's no just making out one word. It is just pouring of voices. Do I see any of those creatures around? You do. They're making no move to attack you. They're almost kind of backing away, daring you to follow. Uh, what did you roll? I don't even... Um, I rolled... What did I roll? Um, I have a five on the die here. And a two, I think, was the last one. Seven. And seven. Uh, and plus my uh, passion, right, for that? Yes. Uh, so, eight. Eight. So, yeah. You got one basic move. Yeah. Um, but there is a tunnel leading out of here. Which next turn you could absolutely leave or follow these creatures, follow creatures. that are beckoning. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. Um, we, we got one. We are uh, going to advance and attack. Oh, of God. course, onto Ember. Uh, there's going to strike you twice. <laughs> so you can choose to either take two fatigue. Per attack, mark a condition, or shift your balance. And they're doing that Ooh. twice too. Ooh. Um, so fun. Um, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to shift my balance for one. This is a bad idea, I know. Um, <laughs> I know who I am. I know where this is going. Um... And then for the other one, I will take a condition. Okay. I'll take the angry condition. I'm mad now. <laughs> Snap. I would also count this as rushing in or whatever the condition is for clearing. Um, is it like a foolhardy? Yeah, that's hmm. insane charge full-heartedly towards danger or whatever it's called mm -hmm. take full-hearty action without talking to your companions which Mayari, if you were inflicted with insecure i would say that you're absolutely cured from that that's not but good to know <laughs> <laughs> you're even more secure than you were before yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they don't get their final action because they are impaired. <laughs> but that brings us back to the top of to defend and maneuver. Oh, um Okay. Oh god. This is a moment that really hurts me as a player. Because mm -hmm. I want nothing more than to follow these creatures. I want that so badly. That said, Mayari is afraid. Um, and to clear the afraid condition, you would run from danger or difficulty. And so I think she, in this moment of panic, the curiosity is there, but the fear overwhelms it. And she starts to, uh, she's gonna use a position if I get it, so I should roll. I might not get out of this. Oh my god, I rolled two ones. Um, <laughs> with with what's defend and maneuver again? Uh, focus. What am I? Focus with focus. So at least that's a two more. So four. So in Mayari's mind, these are the thoughts. 
Oh, I can shift my balance. Okay. I will do that. Okay, so to clarify, mm -hmm. I have one box left for the tradition balance portion of my bar. Okay. Do I need to go one more to fall over? Yeah, you, or if is you, that okay. If you would ever move and you have no more boxes to move to, that's when you lose your balance. You've tipped. Okay, great. So mm -hmm. I am I will take that one then and I will use the basic move of season uh season position. And they I will are gonna use a move. Oh, <gasps> don't you block me? <laughs> uh, no, they're not gonna block you. Um. But when a bender would shift their balance, they can choose to cause you to shift one more. Oh no! my gosh! Oh my gosh! No. We're losing our balances left and right, squad. Oh yeah. <laughs> goodness. So, oh, God. if your balance shifts past the end of your track, you lose your balance. You obsess over the principle to a degree that it's not healthy for you or anyone around you. Choose one of the following. Give in or submit to the opposition. Lose control of yourself in a destructive and harmful way. Take an extreme action in line with that principle, and then flee. Ooh. Wait, though, before you can resist. You can resist yes, it. Yes, you can resist I shifting can resist your balance. It. You can resist shifting res your you, uh, roll, you just roll you your... You just roll. You just roll, yeah. On a, okay. 10 plus, on a 10 plus, you choose two of these. On a 7 to 9, you choose one. Yes. Clear condition or mark growth by immediately acting to prove them wrong. Shift your balance toward the opposite principle. Learn what their principle is if they have one. If you already know, take plus one forward against them. Okay. On a miss, okay. they just know what to say to throw you off balance. And you mark a condition and shift your balance twice. <laughs> All right. I am going to... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to resist. We'll see if it's successful or not. <laughs> I, I believe yeah. in you. Uh, Let's go. Okay, that's a three. Is so the before first you roll one. the second one. Okay. Because it would shift your balance twice. This would put you two Whoa. over the edge if you miss. That's how would you feel about having to choose two of those instead of one if you fail? Choosing two of the lose your balance? Yeah. Because it's pushing oh you extra far. I mean, I'm all in. Let's do it. <laughs> all right. I believe in you. I'm I'm here for it. Go for so it. So first was a three, Go. everybody. <laughs> Folks at home, uh, that's a three. Uh, you need a four. I've yeah. got one yeah. more of these. Two. Oh no! <laughs> Five. <total>. No. <laughs> no. Oh no. My Ari's gonna die. You no. mark a condition. <laughs> Condition of your choice. <coughs> okay. Um. Ooh, I think. Well, I think it's gonna be the first two. I think she is going to, in her fear and just like wanting to get out, she's going to try. In this fiery hellscape, she is going to try to take whatever kind of moisture is left in the air and turn it into icicles and like shoot it out um like like little pin like pin needles like spines from a porcupine um uh and and then she's going to just kind of collapse and and give in to her opposition oh, what snap. condition are you marked Oof. Um, I just mark one condition? Yep. Okay. The condition I will mark... I think... I've got angry, foolish, and insecure to pick. I think insecure is the one. I think she's feeling completely devastated. She can't get out of this mess that she got herself into. Um, and she usually feels, you know, like she's able to maneuver out of bad spaces. And this was one she's not able to maneuver out of. The two of you mm -hmm. on the outside 
And even the two earthbenders that had stopped and looked back to see that you weren't behind them would see just a ball of ice just shoot out. And that fire kind of starts to die. These creatures, even looking at that, all start to turn and just disappear. Bay and Ember, with the creatures gone, the benders that were by your side have turned to go, you know, help their companions that are limping towards the city. There is no sign of Mayari at the moment. Rush towards towards the yeah airship. Uh, is there any way in? It is a wall of ice and metal. Faye, step back. Yeah. Um, and Ember's going to use Fireblade um, on the on this. Uh, he he draws a line in the air, blue flame, and it shoots out towards the the ice, um, hoping to uh, destabilize. Uh, it says slice through a piece of your surroundings and to destabilize your foe. So I'm hoping it slices through and breaks Absolutely. it over. It's it's by no means super enchanted ice. It's just ice. The mm. blade cuts through. And you're able to kind of force your way in. And you would see my RE just collapsed. Okay. Yeah. Get the car. I'm on it. Um, and I'm gonna check on. I'm gonna check and see if they're okay. Mary, Mary. <laughs> She's like full on trembling, um, like on involuntary twitching, um, curled up in kind of a fetal position. I, 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 I could it, couldn't, I could, could it. It's, it's okay. Okay, we're here. I'm gonna take you someplace safe, okay? Are they? Are they? Are they? They're gone. Oh, did, did they get? Did the get out? Get out? Everyone is safe. The creatures are gone. Whatever you did sent them away. You saved everybody. No, I couldn't. Get, I couldn't. I couldn't get out. Out. And she's just like full on crying. Um. Just like. At some point. Just fist in your shirt, and like pulls herself into you, and you can feel her kind of shaking against you. It's okay. Um, can I try and guide and comfort? Absolutely. <laughs> roll with my harmony, which is plus zero. Yeah, uh, that is a six. Oh, yeah, just it just broken. seems a little too far <laughs> gone. No, yeah. It's okay. Uh, you hear her her voice start to slur even more like the words are unintelligible coming out of her mouth and she just starts like kind of twitching a little more violently against you um, until you kind of feel her slump over just kind of passing out from all of the all of the stimulation um if she's passed out, Ember will pick her up um, and walk out towards uh, Faye in the cart. Faye is a little bit slow because he took it straight through the wax he set down on the ground. The wheels are a little, like, stuck, but he's just no. kind of, like, <laughs> dragging it towards <laughs> you. It's like, I'm sorry. I, I acted without thinking earlier. 
No, it's okay. Um, as I, as I get closer, I will stomp fire out <laughs> to like burn up the the wax. <laughs> if that does that, yeah. Yep, yeah, and I'll, I'll place Miari in the in the cart. Um, I think she'll be okay. She just needs some time to rest. Okay. I would say that, Ember, you'd... Even if your mind isn't taking in it in, in the moment, just kind of the back of your mind is taking in this situation that you found Mayari in. Collapsed on the ground, yes. But there are clear drag marks, I guess, that looks like where Mayari collapsed wasn't necessarily, or sorry, where you found Mayari wasn't necessarily where they collapsed. As if they pulled themselves towards something and then stopped there. We'll take it slowly, yeah? Yeah. You wanna hop in or do you wanna No, I'll I'll help on this side. Since we don't have to go that fast. <laughs> yeah. Um and I will start so, uh, not like not super slow, but not fast either it's at a normal pace. Mm -hmm. Pulling the cart back. You get about halfway back to the city before those earthbenders coming out to meet you. Looking exhausted. But kind of recognizing the two of you and what you've done come up and this you gonna be alright? Yeah. Um I think she's just, uh, yeah, she'll be okay. That's, uh, some damn fine bending in there. Uh, yeah, she's, she's amazing. It's true. Yeah, you know, I saw, I saw them save a whole ship once. Not surprised. Yeah. Are you all okay? Is every, did everybody make it out? As far as we can tell, yeah. Um, it's gonna sound like a very odd question, I know. <clears throat> but did either of you take anything from the ship? No. Your, your no. friend there, she didn't take anything? I don't believe so. I mean, we all arrived at the same time to see everything up in flames. I don't think any one of us would have thought to take anything. I'm going to look down at Zwok. <laughs> Zwok is terrified right now. Okay. <laughs> Just want to make sure. <laughs> Zwok is like, I've seen stuff. I've seen <laughs> yeah. stuff. I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> All right. I can't tell you much, but if you hear anyone talking about peddling any artifacts, please come and find us. We were carrying something very important. But it's gone. What's your name? What was that? Uh, uh, I said, what's your name? Kisada, and this is Adora. Alright. Well, if, if you don't mind me asking, what happened up there? Was it, was it those things? I don't it... know. One moment we were flying, we were getting ready to land, and 
next thing something was ripping our engines apart those things those creatures they came out of nowhere all right well i mean if if you ever need any more help with all that stuff my name's ember you can find me yeah we live in the sewers <laughs> maybe it's not best to tell everybody about that you know? how else are they gonna find us i mean but like we could just say like somewhere you know it's fine yeah no, no okay uh, where where do you live where where can we find you <laughs> forget best i said the previous towards the crashed airship <laughs> That was our home. No, oh, you may want to oh. find a new place to stay. Maybe you could stay in the sewers with us. Let us know if you hear anything. We'll be around. All right. <laughs> He's going to look for you in the sky. Sorry, this, that was a bad joke. Sorry. That was just... <laughs> They're going to head back off towards the airship. We got we to work on the like, interaction with the people. I don't think we do too good. Yeah. Uh, I just thought it'd be good, you know, if we can keep in touch somehow. Yeah, true. true. Maybe <sighs> maybe we shouldn't tell people, because, you know, there's the whole underground thing is happening down that's there that's true right. they probably wouldn't even be able to find the right entrance that's true i mean you know uh, they, maybe they maybe they all can do that thing that zai did earlier oh right you know they okay. just like disappear yeah did you Wait, know did zai you zai earlier yeah i what? saw zai yeah was right before i saw you two did you know Whoa. zai was at the factory earlier too Oh yeah, yeah! I saw him upstairs. Do you know? You, and, why didn't anybody tell me this? Uh, I'm sorry. Look, I was gonna tell you at some point, and then everything don't happened. Anything. You know? Every time, what? I'm like, I'm like left out of the loop. I'm sorry. I'll tell you everything from now on. I okay. I appreciate. So, it. I I took a helm the helmet back. <laughs> what um, helmet? <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> Zwok stole a helmet, uh, you know, an elite firebending helmet, and I took it back. Oh, yeah. Those things, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got I got some food. He was supposed to give you some food, but I guess he couldn't find you. Um, oh, yeah, I was I was talking to, to Zai. Um, okay, yeah. that's fair. Till he wasn't uh, doing anything else. Where were you? I was, uh, I was it, on the, it's not important, on the rooftop, but like, you know. I was, it was kind of brooding. And then he starts walking again. That's fair. <laughs> the food, is Walk, you got that food still? Oh. <laughs> I drink that late. We can go get some more, I'm sure. No, no, it's fine. I don't want to impose on them. No, I think you could I you could learn a lot. They they used to be in you know the 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 Fire Nation armies. So I'm just yeah, saying. I, I kind of figured that from the Fire Nation helmet that you said. Right, exactly. So I mean, really, really cool person. I'm just saying, and Name? dumplings, rice balls, very good. I I was the big fan. Rasmus. Uh, an iron worker? Do you do you know them? I don't know. Have I heard of that? Have I heard of this person? I, I my family has been military for generations. If you'd done any exploring in that part of the city, you may have seen the sign for the shop, but they've been uh, long since retired. Uh, yeah, they're really old. So oh, yeah, yeah, probably even my grandfather knows. Maybe. No, my grandfather's not talkative much. Oh, uh, okay. He, he's still he's still salty about the 
the whole we were trying to take over the world thing and we lost. Ah. Uh, <laughs> well. <laughs> all right. I, I'll say Rasmus is a little more pleasant. <laughs> Don't don't ever if you if you meet my grandfather, just don't. You know, just don't meet him. <laughs> yeah. We just don't, don't bring it up. Right. Yeah. I won't. I won't. His bending's not what it used to be, but he's still spry for some reason. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's still more bending than I can do, so. I mean, you you do that, you know, cool thing where you like, you know tinker with stuff and you do stuff and then I mean look you at, at this point in time you've taken out taken out more of our like people that we fought with than I have I don't know about that no it's 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 numerically true I don't know I I feel like I took the one thing early but but then after that it's like I just pass out and I have no idea what happens oh so. I mean you still you still won though right like I don't. I'm still standing, so I guess. Yeah, better than you ever did. <laughs> um. Yeah, it's because of I. I met y'all. You have inspired me. Oh, stop! But keep going. Yeah, look, I'm just saying, with what you were able to do with that fire blade, and with what Mayari Mayari could do, I mean, look. Well, we're going to take that pro bending circuit by storm. I'm just saying. They're not going to oh, know what hit him. It is a thing, isn't it? Yeah. Well, yeah, we got we to gotta go see the guy about that. <laughs> no. Is that no, on the way? For, it's for tomorrow. I know it's still <laughs> it's too late. Yeah. And I mean, there. it is. Sleep. It's probably like an hour before sunrise at this point, but yeah. Oh god. <laughs> You're all going on no sleep for now like two days straight, so <laughs> we are due for a crash. That's that's fair. Okay. Okay. Should we return this cart? I mean <laughs> probably, but not yet. Are you gonna get it into the sewer? <laughs> so, something's gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> just find I'm like a, sure. a big like waterway opening, and just you take the long way around. <laughs> right. Oh, thank goodness! Um, but yeah, eventually you're able to get back, get my Ari into bed, and you yourselves. Get some much needed rest. Excellent. Hi, Ari. How you doing? Not good. Emotionally, <laughs> physically. I think at some point she'll wake up um, uh, alone, disoriented, in a dark room, in a 10 by 10 cell in the sewer. And, uh, and like start to get bearings on, okay, this is the bed. This is the nightstand thing where I feel like Kim left something at some point, just reorienting different touch points. Um, here's some leftover pocket food yes. from Faye and Swak. Yes. Um, and there is an odd sensation of like reaching out to feel the end table and feeling it inches before your hand even reaches it or feeling to the bed and already feeling your hand across the sheets even though you haven't yet finished reaching out to touch it um Oh, what is that sensation? Um, I'm going to try to stand. Um, Again, does my foot like, feel like it hits the floor before? It's like some, like every move you make is happening seconds before you actually do it. So I feel out of time with myself 
by like a second or two? Or like, like you yourself have this external force that is just extending your senses just by seconds. Uh, I think I'm going to try to stumble to the door. I'm immediately, like, I think flashes of Ember, Ember's face kind of above me are coming to my mind. And I'm just thinking where Faye and Ember, Faye and Ember, if I'm here, they have to both be here. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm going to start just going to their rooms and I'm not going to knock or anything. I'm just going to open the door and uh, check in on both of them. Uh, would you roll your creativity, please? Yeah. Creativity, and I think I have a plus two to that. I do. I believe Oof. in you. These low ass rolls. Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> you remember, full art eyes don't exist. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think they don't. I think it literally disappeared. Oh my gosh! They 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 took they they took the move from Zai. <laughs> the dice <Yeah>. were like, <laughs> yeah, yes, that's bad. <laughs> okay, do I have another V six or? Something? You didn't see anything. These are not. <laughs> okay, here's one. There you go. I believe okay. you. Thank you. That is a. So the first one was a, uh, it was low, it was a one and a six. Um, so with two, uh, nine, six, Good enough. seven, nine. Nice. You hit your own door and then go to open just the next one, whatever it is. And that light from candles up above the doors is flickering. And your shadow hits that doorknob and starts to turn it before you even reach it. Uh, Shed open. As, as I start to open the door, do I get a sense of the room before I'm even entering it? Not to that degree. Okay, good. <laughs> I was like, oh, not all crazy. I'm feeling a little out of sync. Uh, maybe a little loopy. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue to open the door and go in. Um, do I know whose room I'm opening, or? Is it um, Ember's or Faye's? Let's go even on. Even is Faye. Okay. Even. It's Faye. Faye, alright. Faye. 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 Hey, uh, what's, what's going on? Um, I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna go over and just like take my knuckles and like just slow punch like the shoulder and just see if I have the same effect where I see my fist hitting Faye's shoulder before it actually does. It's not quite that precise, more like you can kind of feel Faye rather than like actually hitting with the fist, but it's there. Oh, I think something's what? wrong. Sorry, something's wrong. Why? Something's why'd you have wrong. to hit me twice? What are you doing? <laughs> I, I didn't. I didn't mean to hit you twice. Uh, I feel. I. I. I feel. I feel out of sync. What happened? Wait. Is Ember? Is is Ember? Is Ember okay? Yeah. Yeah. Um. He's. Yeah. He's. He's fine. He's just sleeping. Uh, are you okay? No. No. Something's wrong. I. I feel out of sync with myself. Oh. Uh. And, uh, Faye is immediately gonna, gonna stand up and say, uh, okay, okay, are stable, you're good? We can go get Ember together. Okay, okay. I'm, I am gonna, uh, Mary will reach out and, like, just put an arm around your shoulder to help stabilize as we walk um, over to Embers. Ember, are you there? 
uh, Ember's in there. I think he didn't. He got some sleep, but he couldn't sleep too much. Um, um, when you when you like open the door, um, he's like he's sitting on the floor, and like he his coat is like laid on the bed, and he's just wearing his pants and shirt, and uh, he's he's got his eyes closed, and he's steam coming off of him, blue flame kind of licking all around him. He doesn't seem to notice y'all at all. Um, I think for a moment, Mayari's gonna, you can feel Mayari freeze up against you, Faye, as she sees this, like, smoke and, like, this kind of steamy effect around Ember, and, like, these, for her, it's these flashes of those kind of smoky creatures in oh. the, in the trapped space, like, beckoning her. Um, um, uh, feeling that, uh, Faye's gonna, like, immediately, like, stop and turn towards my Mayari and say, are, are you okay? They were, they were call, calling me. They wanted me to, to come. Uh, the, the things, the invisible things. <laughs> the things. Okay, um, you know what? It, is there a chair in here? <laughs> sure. Okay, I, I'm going to go grab a chair and, like, you know, kind of scooch it so that Mayari can have a seat. And then I'm going to go, like, just a, just a light tap on the forearm. Um, Ember. Ember. Yeah. Uh, Mayari's awake. I wasn't sleeping. Oh. Ah. Uh, yeah. yeah. No, it's fine. Um, uh, like the steam in, in, in the fire immediately goes away. He's like, oh. So sometimes I do that in my sleep. You know, don't worry about it. Um. Maya, are you okay? Did, did you did you see them? Yes. Yeah, so. Did they want you to come with them? No, they're too busy running away. Do you, do you feel off? Do I? No more than you had. Um, I'm a little pissed off. That's about it. Are you, do you feel off? I don't know how to describe it. I feel like I'm, like I can, a second ahead, I can feel when I'm, and she's just like stretching out her arm and like touching different things to feel the sensation again. Um, does anything feel off like on her? Does she like her body or you know what she usually has on her person? Does anything else feel off? Feeling around everything feels pretty normal till you get to about the collarbone region and to feel something under your clothes draped around your neck. Um, yeah, I'm gonna immediately start, like, you You both don't know what I'm doing, but I'm, like, clawing <laughs> at my, my shirt collar to try to expose, um, what's underneath, what do they see? It's, like, a silver chain connected to this, like, obsidian stone, um, which any of you that have studied history much, uh, might recognize this as a spirit stone. Something used to house evil spirits to keep them away from this world, kind of imprison them. Most people would see them as just superstition. Like, you no, know, grandma keeps a spirit sewn in the kitchen to keep the bad spirits away from the cooking. But they do have practical use. Was that there before? 
No, um, I'm gonna try to take it off. It is... I should say, whatever it was before, it is now inert. Okay. Um, oh. I, I take it off, and I kind of, like, toss it between the three of us. Um, and I'm gonna try again to feel something. Do I have the same sensation? I don't know, I still feel weird. So I don't know, it doesn't have to, 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 it's not about that. I don't know how I got that. So you didn't have uh, that before? No, did I, did you, when you, when you found, when you found me, did, did you see it? Uh, no, I was too worried about, you know, you know, what was going on with you to, you know. <sighs> Although, when you, you know, did the, you know, ball thing, right? And it, which I mean, you saved everybody, right? Again, yeah. It it looked like that you had where I found you. You weren't that wasn't where you were originally. Did you like crawl over somewhere? If you can remember, I was scared. There was. The, the earthbenders made a tunnel and people were they were going down I was gonna go down too and I saw I, I saw the smoke creatures or whatever and they were calling for me or they were like wanting me to to come to them but I was so scared so I was I was gonna go. And then there was whispering and I just lost control. I lost control. I just e exploded. And then I fell down and in front of them. And then I don't poop. Does Mayari have any memory of like crawling towards them or being dragged towards them or anything beyond flashpoint explosion Ooh. collapse <laughs> nada that's it I, that's, um, I, I would like to arrive on my skills and training Ooh. <laughs> sure nice I'm gonna roll with focus here uh, and I'm, I'm looking to gain a new insight with this to go here oh that oh that's a six and a one plus two, so eight. Wait, 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 nine. Sorry. So, what exactly are you looking for? Um, I'm trying to. I mean, knowing about the like spirit stone stuff, right? In like, mm -hmm. um, hearing what Mayari is saying, I'm trying to figure out if. Is this the artifact? Would this be the artifact that the people were looking for? It's entirely possible. If this really was holding some kind of <clears throat> dark spirit, uh, yeah, that would make sense why they'd be worried about it being loose in the city. Oh. 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 Uh, what, oh! What? What? Oh. Well, to explain my four O's. Okay. Was five. The first O was me realizing, um, what that was. Yeah, this is you know, it's a spirit stone, right? Um, the second O was me remembering what it does. The third O was re me remembering 
that the uh, that the, the the people who were in the airship were uh, transporting some sort of artifact that they said was taken. And the fourth O is me realizing that, like, oh, that might be the artifact, and if it is indeed what it is, and if it isn't true, in fact true, what they say about what that is, then what that is would be very bad because it'd be loose in the city. Which, you know... Wait, wait, so are we saying this is, like, a live spirit stone with, like, a live dark spirit inside of it or it's like a mm. like a you know pretty here's the spirit stone it's innocuous but it could hold a scary sp- spirit i mean i mean look, i oh, can shoot that... fire out of my body do you think that's too far of a stretch to for there to be like then, a spirit stone you know? well i mean was was were the, the things that we saw were they the spirits that were from the spirit stone or were they trying to get the spirit stone Why not both? I don't know. I mean, all I, all I know is is that if you didn't have that before, you went in that ship, and since you've been in that ship, now you have it, and they're missing something that's an artifact that could be very dangerous. I believe in their words. Um, then that is the thing that I would think would be. I mean, you know, if two plus two equals four, then you know what is this? Okay, how do you handle this? Like, where, where are these people? Can we just, like, hand it off? Is this a thing you just hand off? I mean, they were looking for it. They said to contact them if we saw it, so... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, are you... you you're okay? You said you're feeling weird. I'm, what is it exactly? I, it just feels like I reach out to touch something and it's like I can not like I'm physically touching it beforehand, but it's like I can I'm experiencing the touch before it happens like a second before Oh yeah, classic spirit sickness Ember says, what? Obviously no clue is what he's talking about. What do you mean spirit sickness? What's spirit sickness? I don't have, and she like goes in like in her <laughs> like bag, which is the small bag that is always with her. She pulls out the notebook that is always with her and like starts flipping through looking for in this notebook of illnesses and cures and treatments spirit sickness. <laughs> it's Not very obvious that he knew what he's talking about. <laughs> he just kind of he said it because he feels like he's on a roll and he's like mm-hmm. this gotta be that okay mm. no okay there's no spirits sickness I mean you sure it could be we don't know I, uh, it, I, maybe I'm just maybe it's just a new symptom it, maybe, maybe it'll pass um well, yeah, maybe it'll we, pass maybe if we return this to Casada and Adora they can tell us um, if you've got spirit sickness or not. I don't have spirit sickness. Um, but... I see. Yeah, okay. Um... Hey, you see you can feel things before you touch them? I don't know how to... It's just... It's like I am... I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna reach out and just, like lightly put my hand on Ember's shoulder. How about a focus roll? Believe in you. Six and five. Eleven plus two. Thirteen. Yeah. Nice. Yep. In a moment of like, okay, this is what I want to do. Even if it doesn't match up exactly with the light, your shadow does extend out and touch his shoulder. Okay, it feels like it's more specifically like my shadow is is also going out and touching 
I'm shadow gonna... sickness. Can they can they see that? Can they see my shadow? It is visible, yeah. Um, I'm gonna look at their shadow on the ground or wherever it is. Is it doing anything weird? I mean, for a moment, it does extend out at Mayari's will and then kind of returns back to its normal position. If I'm being honest, that's kind of cool. Like, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you. That, that, that's, yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm sitting here now that I feel like it's more connected to that. I'm gonna just see without extending my hand to have the shadow actually follow my hand. I'm just going to like think, like shadow extend and, and like tap Faye on the head to do anything. <laughs> With the 13 that you rolled, I, I don't think it would be a stretch to say that basic maneuvers would be pretty easy for you to do. Okay, okay, I don't know what the fuck this is, but I think I'm shadow bending? Yeah! Is that a thing? <laughs> the shadow, yes, are you the, the... Wait, this is cool. No, wait, no. You gotta teach me. Um, <laughs> I can't do that, can't I? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Holy shit! Um, yeah, I think for the next, like, however long we're sitting here, Mayari is just testing her shadow out. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna steal this team. <laughs> so, <laughs> wait, what? As I has anyone ever heard of this? Rapidly this? losing my voice. Um, <clears throat> it it is impossible for one person to control more than one element. Shadow bending is not a thing that exists. But when a person in theory, of course, because this has never been put to practice. If a person were to ever be granted spiritual energy from some outside force, it's possible to be able to bend more than one element. I got, like, I got lion turtled by yes. these spirit things. Exactly. Oh my god. <laughs> I did. What does shadow fit in the elements? Like, what is, is that air? No, it can't be. Right? Oh. Fire. <laughs> I don't hmm, it's know. fire I can take it right? like... <laughs> fire creates shadows guess what I'm saying this, this is where my mind is going yeah I'm gonna try to take it <laughs> <laughs> it is not this fire is bending what... <laughs> darn um well, I'm gonna I don't know if this is a thing. I'm gonna try it. Um, because I'm also really wary about this spirit stone mm. and anyone wearing it, especially if it might have a dark spirit in it still. Um, I'd like my shadow to... I don't know if we can do this, so we're gonna try. I would like my shadow to pick it up and wear it. Can it wear the it, necklace? It doesn't have a physical form to wear through. anything. But <clears throat> also that necklace is... A nut. It's just a hunk of obsidian. Okay. Okay. Cool. If there we, was something know, in it, we know this for sure. Yeah, you can feel that there is there's nothing. In there. No spirit. Okay. All right. Then I feel less worried about it. I'm gonna pick it up. You wanna uh, wear it? No, 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 no. I'm not a fashion person. Um. Wait, Ember. Yeah. Did they did they say that something? You said they were worried about it being dangerous. Yeah. Well, uh, I don't know if they said the words dangerous, but they it was implied, I feel like, because they were worried about it. Did they say okay. the words? Yeah, they, 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 the first thing they asked us was uh, if we took anything from the ship. And I, I guess we lied. <laughs> Unknowingly well, un lied. Unintentionally. Yeah. Um, yeah, high five to finish. Yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I don't know that we should be high fiving right now because because if they if they thought this should be dangerous and it's not anymore, 
news pod. Then that means that it's all it's released, right? And the way I see it, there are two possibilities, right? Right. And I'm not the smart one, so Faye, you 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 know, back me up here. All right. right. There are two possibilities. One that you're correct in that those whatever those things were gave you some cool new bending that I can't take apparently. <laughs> and then um and and this this dark power has been released in the city and is now running rampant, probably causing untold destruction everywhere it goes. Or two, and I think this this one is better for the public, worse for for us, you in particular, is that it's it it's in you, and that's why you have this shadow stuff. Do do I feel like it's inside me? Do I get a sense of like <laughs> there is an evil spirit in me? It's like yo. It could just be <laughs> hunger and exhaustion, but you oh. feel off. Yeah, it's the first one. I think it's the first one. They they train us for these things. Yeah. I've been trained my entire life to handle situations like this. Uh huh. Yeah. I have. I know exactly what to do. For for a dark entity being released into the city. Yep. What do we do? And mm -hmm. like you're shaking your head as you're saying all of this. Yeah, it's it's cold. Uh, let's go find. <laughs> starts walking out of the room. Let's go find An Andreas and the other person. I, I can't remember their names. Casada and Adora. <laughs> <laughs> um. Close. Yeah. yeah. Let's. Let's do that, I guess. Yeah. Well, I feel like that is a fantastic place. To, uh, give the others a chance to come back from their secret missions, to rejoin, before we go hunting down these... Others. I think these... as a last shot, um as like the other two are maybe getting up and looking away from Mayari, there's like a glimpse on her face of like, I kind of want to keep this, whatever it is um, for now. As she kind of like clenches her fists by her sides and watches her shadow like do the same. Oh, snap. Well, thank you all so much for being here. I have had a cough recently, so I'm surprised my voice held out as much as it has. After this, I'm going to go drink some tea and rest my voice. But until then, thank you to everyone that came out to support us. Thank you to Apochromatic Unlimited for the raid. We heckin' love ya. Um... Thank you, thank you, Liz, for the villain point, and oh, Matt, thank you for the resub. Love you, buddy. Yeah, of Yay. course. Uh, but so I don't have to talk anymore. I'm gonna pass it on over. Let everyone tell you who they are and where you can find them on the internet. We'll go the same order we did for intros. So we're gonna start with Caitlin. Hi, uh, I am Caitlin. Uh, tonight I played Mayari Best Show. Uh, you can find me at New Handle. Uh, so it is actually K K E N or K K E N N E Y plays K Kenny plays, and that's at Twitter, Instagram um, now. So you can find me both places. Um, I will be back in two weeks to find out more about shadow bending and possible dark spirit entities in the city or inside me. Um, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and uh, excited to have uh, uh, Kim and Day join back into these shenanigans that the further chaos we have caused somehow. Um, <laughs> and uh, and tomorrow night I will be DMing a another myth mystery 
and with the help of this crew, uh, it now has a name, uh, Death on the Dirigible. It will be nice. a mystery of a bunch of detectives heading to a detective con, a detective convention, uh, when suddenly death happens, uh, and they must find out who the murderer is before they land their airship. Um, so yeah, come check that out uh, tomorrow night. And if you'd like, watch their first mystery, the parts one and two, A Night at the Mu Haunted Museum, on our YouTube channel. Over to Matt. Hey, I'm Matt. Um, I was Faye this evening, and you can find me and keep up with everything I'm doing uh, everywhere as Improv and RPG. Thank you so much for having me. Heck yeah. Oh, to Extel. Um, hello, everybody. Um, I am Extel. I've been I've played Ember Zosia this evening. Um, my pronouns and his pronouns are he, him. Uh, you can find me at Extra the King all over the socials. You, you, you can't find me on Facebook, though. So if you do, you don't. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> um, you can catch me. What is today? You, you can catch me um, Monday on Talking XP where we play a Ravenloft uh, game called Ravenloft Misfits. Misfits. Uh, I play Arxis the Paladin who's having a great time. Certainly, certainly not going down a dark road, but you know, um, Tuesday Nation <laughs> Tile Channel, uh, where we play Shrouded Chronicles, a uh, Pathfinder game which just got so wild. Seriously, check it out. Um, Wednesday nights, I story tell the uh, Vampire the Masquerade Chronicle called Blood Tax on Take Your Roll. It also just got pretty wild. Um, I'm not gonna spoil anything, but let's say, like, not everybody made it out okay. <laughs> um, oh, snap. um so you know check that out um um you can catch me here every other friday uh playing ember uh and sunday july 2nd we're coming back with more imperial rising on altered echo archive so be sure to watch that because Jax Jax is my boy in the last episode he took out an entire guard in a prison by himself dang <laughs> Some of them yeah, ran away screaming. Sick. Others were lying on the floor crying. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> so, so check it out. He's a great. He's a great guy. Uh, but thanks for coming by. Uh, I love playing with everybody here, and, the, and also the two who aren't here right now. Uh, can't wait to continue the story. It's so yeah. good. Absolutely. <laughs> that just leaves me, of course. I have been Andrew, storyteller for tonight's game, and for most games around here. Um. I love this game, I love this cast, I love this story. We made a slight detour from what we were gonna do today, but we just, uh, we got to some, some story elements that we might not have seen until future stories, but, uh, I'm excited. Because I now no longer know where this story is going, and I love it. <laughs> Now. <laughs> now that shadow well, bending is released into the world, who knows? I know I gave a whole spiel earlier about me being like order, but no, real me, Ember, Ember likes order. I love this. <laughs> Whatever this. <laughs> uh, well, our friends, the Lollygaggers, are currently live, so I'm going to throw it right over to them. But uh, yeah, that's all I got. As always, be good people do good things, and we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody. Bye.